Hey guys, everything CNC here. We're going to come back with our second toolpath. Uh, we did a facing toolpath in our previous video. Now we're going to do a barring out toolpath. So we're going to take a tool and go along the outer diameter of the part uh, to a set length. So uh, we'll start from the position page to get back to our program. We're going to go over to the next menu. We're going to hit program. Okay. And we're going to hit program one more time. So we're in the program and then we enabled editing of program. We're going to scroll down to unit number two. Unit number one was edge face. Unit number two is going to be a bar toolpath. Okay. And the option we're going to choose is out. Out with the purples to do an inside groove. In is obviously for an inside uh, pocket. So we're going to use out. Bar out. And we're going to use toolpath number zero. We'll go into more what those do uh, later on. But right now, uh, generally speaking, zero is going to leave a better finish uh, and less wear on the tool uh, or, or less problems. Number one is going to be a much faster cycle time, but you got to be careful because if you're doing hard materials and you have a thin tip uh, tool, it's very likely you can bust it. So we're going to use zero. Okay, our cutting point X. So now we're going to start at the outside diameter maximum 1.0, just as we did here. But now we have already faced and remove those 25 thousandths uh, extra material that we had left off. So we can start at zero. Our feed is going to be uh, the same 1200 surface feed, 1200 surface feed there. We're going to do the same 0 0.010 and we'll do a, a modest uh, 0.025 thousandths depth of cut or, or, you know, easy going, not too heavy. Uh, our tool is going to be number one for roughing, same tool, number one for uh, finishing. And uh, actually, I forgot to tell you guys down here, when you hit enter of the tool, Hit enter one more time. We're not going to worry about these codes, okay? So hit tool one, enter, and then hit enter one more time when you see those codes. Don't worry about that. The toolpath shape we're going to do is a line. We're going to put a corner ch uh, chamfer. So if you leave it blank and just type 0.025, it's going to say a chamfer, 45 degree chamfer. If you're to go back and you hit corner radius, okay, and that's highlighted, you hit 0.025, it's gonna put a radius of 25 thousandths along that edge. But because our drawing, let me pull it up here, has a uh, chamfer of 25 thousandths, we're gonna leave it unhighlighted. We're gonna put a 375 diameter there. Then we're gonna throw a radius of 125 to a finishing diameter of 900 thousandths. Um, so we have gone back here, 0 0.025 chamfer. Our finishing point was 0.375 of the first diameter and we're going to a Z depth of 0.5, okay? It's asking for a corner radius in the end. No, we don't want any, just hit enter. And finishing feed rate, we'll do the 0.003 thousandths per revolution again. Now it's saying, okay, for bar out, what is your next line? It is a straight line, okay? And this is the one where we said we want a radius of 0.125. Our finishing X point on that was 900 thousandths. So we'll hit 900 thousandths, okay, 0.9. And then we're going to finish uh, to a final depth. Now, the final depth on the piece of paper says 0.750, okay? But if you take 0.750 and you add 0.5, you get 1.25. Our, our dimensions when we program are always from the very front of the part to the very back. So you have to add the first depth and the second depth if they give it to you in a print like that. So we're going to say 1.25, okay, final Z depth. And uh, we're just going to hit input because there's no corner radius there. And then uh, input again because it automatically brought down our finish to keep it consistent. And then after the third line, do we have any more toolpath that we need? No, we don't. So we hit shape end. Okay. And then uh, end one more time. And that's just going to be it for the sample program. You can go through these. Uh, it says parts, counter. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to be making a million of these guys here. So we'll say one, you know, because it's pretty cool. Uh, fixed. Uh, home, you can hit one to make it go to the machine home. Usually I don't do that. I keep it right there so it goes quicker. It's the less time it has to travel. You know, depending if you're only making five, it doesn't really matter. But if you're making uh, 8,000, uh, um, some similar type of job, then yeah, it's going to add up over time. Um, this next work piece number, just hit enter. It'll do the same work piece if you have a continuous, which is this option. I'll say uh, zero, a no on this machine is automatically if you don't enter one repeat same time of program and then ship them out so those are the options there now to view it 
We'll do the same thing we did before. Click this back button to bring up another menu. Click program, okay? Go to the tool path option. Click part shape. And it should show up a shape. If you did anything wrong, it's gonna pop up a blue line. It's gonna tell you the unit number and what line. So you can go back, go to program, and it'll say, hey, unit number two, line two. So you look at the unit, and then you go to line two. And you can kind of solve from there. But for now, let's just go to toolpath, part shape, and check continue and see what it does. It should face it, and then take 25,000 steps all the way down to leave a 5,000 finish, and then come and kiss it up. So there it goes facing, now it's roughing, and then it finishes. So that is the shape that you had. Uh, thank you, and we'll go on to the next project uh, in the next day or so.